Cheryl, it was a great event. You did a great job. I mean, you packed the house. What's up for next year? Wow, you know, Michael, catch me in about a week, but I definitely think that uh, we'll be back. I don't know where. We may have outgrown the Hyatt already, but uh, I've already received a thank you uh, LinkedIn message from the hotel, so they get it. <laughs> they're getting it and uh, I think they really want us to come back but we definitely will do Social Media Tulsa Conference 2012 and uh, our one year anniversary is June 30th so I'm already uh, talking to Blake about that new uh, back alley <laughs> we're going to do something big you had, on June 30th you had Mashable be a sponsor I mean you've got Breast Impressions here you've got Shop Tulsa being a sponsor with Blake Ewing I mean you've got I mean incredible sponsorships here and uh, it's good for Tulsa, what you're doing. You know, I think it's wonderful for, you know, I'm a hometown girl, kind of moving back and, and trying to rediscover my hometown. Mm -hmm. And it's great to see people doing good things. And social media and the networks have allowed me to find people like you and, and Judy and Blake and all these wonderful people who are just willing and able to come together and tell a good story about what's happening in Tulsa. Tulsa really is about reinvention. You know, the very first billionaire, J. Paul Getty, lived here in 1914. And I think things like social media Tulsa and what you're doing, what Blake's doing, what others are doing, you're really helping Tulsa reinvent herself. I really do. I loved your post about from oil capital to tech capital. I thought that was really brilliant and really is an opportunity for Tulsa to have a technology resurgence and an entrepreneurial resurgence and people who are doing things and creating uh, like Ask Me Tell Me and like Breast Impressions who, yeah, there are other uh, breast cancer awareness, but Judy has done something completely unique yeah. in her personal story, just gets people on board with her, and, and I think that's what's happening. I mean, you know, the napkin dad, you know, Marty, you know, he, you know, he got people in in his presentation, and you know, everybody did such a wonderful job of telling the story of how social web can help you follow whatever your passion is, or whether you're a business or it's a nonprofit. So it's not so much about being an expert at social media, but it's about using the social tools to help you share your expertise with the world. You had people drive in from other states, you had sponsors, you had come and go here, you had HR people here, you had CEOs, entrepreneurs, startup companies, very, very exciting. Gentleman in transition looking for a franchise to buy came here, heard about you online, it's just very exciting. Can't wait till next year. Well, I tell you what, you know, I don't know how you top this, yeah. but I guess I gotta do it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'll follow your tweet. Absolutely. <laughs> follow me on Twitter as I go through the process. But I will tell you, you know, it, it was a lot of work in a short amount of time. You know, we actually started this after the human trafficking event we did in January. Great event. And so, um, just you know, I appreciate everybody who, who really came together and volunteered their time. Um, you know, we have a lot of people who have offered support to this thing. You know, they didn't have to give their time and uh, be here today, but they did, and I hope we give, we've given them something uh, to think about and share. And, you know, my la little last minute, you know, reflection time, I really like to have people think about, okay, now you have all this knowledge and all this stuff, but what are you going to do with it? Now, you know, make a plan and get out there and make stuff happen. I would say make yeah. stuff happen. Make stuff happen. <laughs> make stuff happen. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Uh,